folks, you saw in a recent uh, acquisition video that I got that Model 1 Sega CD. I'm still just so excited that I have this. Well, I hooked it up and it works fine. The tray works, uh, it plays the, the sound, it does, everything works. And I couldn't be happier about that. Now, the one thing that's nice about the Model 1 versus the Model 2 is that it is much, much smaller comparatively. Here's the Model 1 just sits under it like that so I can fit in a Super Nintendo next to it. When in comparison you have the Model 2 which just dwarfs, which just, it doesn't dwarf it, it actually looks, just looks huge next to all of it. So it's not as much of a space hog despite this one being a little bit more reliable. There's all the metal. So yeah, got 32X connected, I got the my high definition graphics Genesis connected and the Sega CD all connected up. So. Figured I'd turn the TV on and demonstrate it and show that it works and show the unusual method to put discs in. Uh, when you turn it on, uh, you're greeted with these lights down here working. And uh, believe it or not, to eject, you press the reset button. So let's turn it on. That music is is basically half the reason I wanted this Sega CD Model 1. Just listen to that. That just sounds fantastic. Now to put a game in is interesting. Here's a copy of Silphied I got at the same place I got the Sega CD. Oh yeah, I might as well show you the lights. There are the lights. The ready and access light down there. They do the same thing as the uh, lights on the, uh, the Model 2. So it says press reset to open the CD tray. So you hit that button. It resets the Genesis. And the Sega CD and it opens the tray. Then you put your game in. Now you can either push the tray shut with your finger or you can just hit star on the controller. And boom. There you go. Then you press start again to start the game. Sega! And it works just like a Model 2 does, for at least for the few games that I've tried on it. It just kind of, you know, does its thing. And you play your games. Here's a demonstration that it works. I can't believe it works. I really can't. Usually you find these broken. But this one, this one actually works. I'm not going to play a game because it's hard to do with one hand, but eject. Or just reset the console. Yeah, resetting the console ejects the disc, and you can just push it back in with your finger as well. Let's put my game away. And there you go, that's the Sega Genesis, or Sega CD Model 1. It has the same connectors on the back as the Model 2. So just like that, you also get, just like the Model 2, you get the mixing port, you get RCA out, and you get the... Uh, uh, power in. And it takes the same power adapter as the Model 2 one does as well, so you don't have to worry about, you know, mixing up power adapters and accidentally shorting it out or something. So, there you go. The Sega CD Model 1. Not only does it have a nicer song and a tray loading mechanism that sometimes is, that sometimes breaks, it saves space on this uh, desk here so I can, uh, you know, have my Super Nintendo next to it, no problem. I'm just beyond ecstatic that I have this now. <laughs> I'm still, I still have that grin on my face, man. It's just, it's just awesome. I'm such a geek, I know. <laughs> but anyway, before I start rambling on about how great it is to have one of these, there you go, guys. Uh, the Sega CD Model One. 
I definitely recommend it. Uh, I definitely recommend you get one of these if you see it at a good price. Uh, they can go for a lot more than what I bought it for, which is around seventy dollars, including another Genesis with it. So keep your eyes peeled. Anyway, that is the Sega CD Model One. I just thought I'd demonstrate that it works, and uh, there you go. Have a good one, everybody. Ciao.